This module illustrates how you can communicate data from the Inspector PI-50 to an external device. In this particular application, we have an object locator, so we have a centroid location for that. We have a blob finder tool, so we have two blobs and XY coordinates area and other information for each of these individual blobs. And we have two polygon tools, both of them one-sided, so simply align. So we have two corners for each of the polygon tool that we can send outside. In order to do this, we first need to know what is the IP address of the device that we want to communicate the data to. In my case, I'm simply going to use a PC. So I will figure out the IP address of my PC, and that is 10109125. Once we know this IP, we can simply go to the interface and I.O. settings. By default, Ethernet is disabled, so we have to check this parameter to enable it. And then we have to select whether we want to send the data out via Ethernet row or Ethernet IP. In our case, it's Ethernet row. We further have to click on the Ethernet row tab and type in the IP address of the device where we are going to be sending the data to. So again, that was 10, 100, 9, 125. 10, 100, 9, and 125. The port number is always 2114. And we have to send the data out via TCP. We can apply an OK to this. We then have to go to the Ethernet result output and insert what type of data do we want to send out. So if you click on Create Example Formatting String, that will put down a nice template for you or a starting point for you. And if you say Validate Output String, with this template, what I can output is how many blobs are found However, I only have the information for the first found blob. I also have the data for the object locator, as far as what's the score, pass score, and what's the position of the location of that. And finally, I only have the two corners from the left side, no information from the right side. So I have to go and manipulate this uh, formatting string. So let's start with the blob locator we see that um, we can simply go ahead and start copying and pasting information from here to get the type of data that we want to get. So we are interested in the blob index position for blob number one. So I can copy up to this point and I can paste it right there with the control V the only piece of information I need to change over there is the blob index is now index number one since the blob tool name is blob one and it's got two indexes or two found blobs blob number zero index zero blob number one index one that's how the first one is named at so let me try validating the output string and now we see that we have the data for the first blob and we also have the data for the second blob okay similarly for the polygon tool we can go and see that we have the left side inserted over here so same drill we can take this whole portion copy and paste it and we are going to change the left into right in the naming of the tool as well as the naming of how we want it to appear and once we validate this again now we see that we have the corner position for the left side as well as the corner position for the right side we can apply and okay this now we have done all that we need to do to configure the Ethernet communication settings on the inspector side. 
Now we need to configure the outside entity. For the purposes of this uh, video, I will use the hyperterminal. Notice that at the bottom of the screen over here, you can see that the IP address of the inspector is 10.109.171. So I can go to my hyperterminal. We will call this test and it's TCP IP. The IP of the inspector is 10.100.9.171 and the port number again is 2114. If I OK on this, immediately the data starts coming in. Since my inspector right now is in a free running mode, it's continuously acquiring data and continuously sending the data. If you want to amend the data again, as far as what you want, what you don't want, you can make those changes on the inspector end in the XM, using the XML formatting code. Hopefully this illustrates enough as far as how one can uh, communicate or send data from the inspector via Ethernet. Thank you for your attention.